Rachel Garceau with your Idaho News 6 forecast. All right, 645 on what has been a bit of a stormy morning across our viewing area. Some of you might get to enjoy Petrichor this morning, which of course is the smell of rain after a prolonged dry period, something we have not experienced in a little while across much of the Treasure Valley. You can see our live view overlooking the village at Meridian. We do have some cloud cover out there. Not so much in the West Central Mountains. McCall skies over Payette Lake look pretty clear, but here's what's happening in the last 30 to 60 minutes. We've had some lightning strikes still popping up just north of Boise. We have this little pocket of rain that has moved through Meridian and is headed for Nampa right now and likely into CUNA as well. So light rain at this point, maybe a quick little burst of heavier rain. I've not seen any measurable totals yet as far as rainfall goes, but still this is that moisture that's coming in from the east. I had anticipated it today. It's coming in a little bit earlier than we had thought it would yesterday, but still we get this clockwise rotation around this big amplified ridge of high pressure that has been so dominant the last couple of days. And as we do, any moisture to the east is coming in and you combine that with some general instability out there in the atmosphere, we have the possibility of late day storms from today all the way into the weekend, especially in the mountains. I think this might be it for the Treasure Valley as far as measurable precipitation. If we do get something measurable after this, we remain hot and dry all the way through Independence Day and beyond. So we continue our excessive heat warning. The area shaded in hot pink or under that warning from now through at least Saturday. That includes the Treasure Valley, Upper Weezer River Basin area and Eastern Oregon, a less severe but still significant significant heat advisory in effect for the next day or two in the Magic Valley and the East Central Mountains. Now the storms that are going to pop up, they'll kind of bubble up and fizzle out quickly. We know how these work, right? Those afternoon storms and then sunshine returns really quickly. There's not a lot of rain coming with these systems. There's the potential that we could have just a little smattering of rainfall across the mountains and this particular model is hinting at one hundredth of an inch of rain in Boise. That's likely from what's happening right now, but still the biggest impact from the storms, which is not great news considering how dry we've been, will be lightning and then gusty outflow winds as those storms develop. So we are watching some fire danger conditions developing really quickly and getting even worse in the coming days as we throw thunderstorms into the mix on top of dry hot fuels at the surface. The heat today will still be intense. 107 for Ontario looks likely 102 for Nampa and Caldwell. If you're headed to the Garden Country Festival tonight at the Ford Idaho Center, it'll be about 100 degrees when everything kicks off around 530. So be ready for the elements. Stay hydrated. 101 in council today, a little less hot in McCall after a record setting 96. Yesterday we dipped down to 91 in McCall, still much toastier than is typical for the final day of June. 84 for Stanley and Sun Valley with a chance, a very slim chance of those afternoon and early evening thunderstorms, but sunshine beyond that. Mid 90s for the Magic Valley, a little breezy at times, but hey, we welcome the wind when we have those triple digits. So we remain hot, sunny and dry long term. We'll hover right around that century mark in Boise each and every afternoon from now through next Tuesday.